Hello, my name is Jessica Stepaniak and with the 21st Century Learning Department. Today we are talking about transitioning all of your Google Doc items or Google Drive items to Microsoft OneDrive. So we're going to open Google Chrome as our internet browser. Type in takeout.google.com forward slash settings forward slash takeout. Make sure that you are you in your school district Google domain account also. It tends to try and revert back to other accounts depending on um, how many accounts you have linked through your Google Drive. So we have lots of options to download. You may have been using your Google Drive for a very long time. Um, I haven't been using mine. Uh, for too long, so the amount of data that I'm going to be archiving will not be all that much. Um, so I'm going to select none and I'm just going to have it copy my Google Drive. And then I'll hit next. Zip file is what you will receive. Um, we're going to change this to 4 gigabytes as the archive size. And then we're going to leave this setting, send download link via email. We're going to leave that here. Um, you can access your data through the link that it sends you in an email, or you can go uh, through it through this site and managing your, uh, the archive. So we're going to create an archive. And again, this can take anywhere from a few minutes to a, a day or so. So keeping track of it. Uh, we're going to select Manage Archives. You can continue to refresh as well. Every time you create an archive it will list it right here. As you can see I've already created one. Um, if I hit Download It's downloading the file to my computer here, which is what we're going to do. And I'm going to select on my zip file here that's downloading that I want it to open when it's done. And then I'm going to wait for that to open up. It's going to take about 20 seconds more here. So I just got an email that said my Google da download um, is finished. I also have a folder that popped up that has my takeout folder. This is all of my Google Drive data that I just archived. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this folder and I'm going to drag it over to my desktop. because I want to copy the folder to my desktop in order to upload it to my OneDrive. Okay, once that's done, now I'm going to come out here and I'm going to open my OneDrive account. So I'll type in portal.office.com to open up my Microsoft Office 365 account. I'm going to select OneDrive. <clears throat> and you might want to create a folder in your OneDrive for your Google things um, until you can sort them all out and organize everything. Um, I have created a Google Stuff folder here in my OneDrive. So I'm going to open that folder, and you can see I've already done this once. So now I'm going to upload, and I'm going to upload a folder, and then I'm going to go to find my desktop, and see I have this takeout folder that was created on February 19th, which is today. I'm going to click Upload. 
This will upload all files from takeout. Only do this if you trust the site. Upload. And now I have a Google Takeout folder in my Google Stuff folder that's in my OneDrive. As you can see when you open it, it has all of your folders and everything that came from that managing your archive section. So if you have things in Google Classroom, they'll be here. If you have things in Google Drive, all of those items will be in here and they have transformed your Google Docs to Word Docs and Google Slides to PowerPoints. The only thing that it's not doing right now is um, there's no way to change over your Google Forms to Microsoft Forms yet, but they are working on it. So now you can organize all of your Google things within your OneDrive uh, wherever they need to go. So we hope this helps and there's additional documentation um, that can be downloaded as well. So thanks for spending these six and a half minutes with me.